Hi, this is Stan Lyle with Master Math. During the lesson, you're going to come to some You Try It slides where you're asked to do problems that relate to the lesson. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. I hope you have a really good time today. Today we're going to talk about graphing linear inequalities in two variables. And that may sound a little bit confusing, but it's really not. You've already graphed linear inequalities with one variable. You did that on a number line, and it looked just like that. Well, now we're going to talk about graphing linear inequalities in two variables. And we're going to start with something that you already understand. Graphing a linear equation. For instance, y equals x plus 1. Well, you can graph that. It's in slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. And my slope, or m, is 1. And my y-intercept, or b, is also 1. So if I graph that, it would look just like that. And I'd understand that every solution to this equation was shown on this graph on this line. Every potential solution to the equation falls on that line. Graphically, that line showing me the solution set and saying that it includes every point on that line. Well, what if I colored in every point above that line? Then what I'd be saying was that my solution set included every point on the line plus every point above the line. For instance, for an x value of 5, my solution set would include a y value of 6 or a y value of 7, or the point 5, 10, or the point 5, 15. But it wouldn't include any of the points below the line that aren't colored in. However, if I colored in everything below the line and left the area above the line uncolored, then I'd be saying that my solution set included every point on this line plus every point below the line. Well, let's see what that means. Let's pick a point, 0 minus 5, and we'll put an x value of 0 and a y value of minus 5 into this equation. Of course, we can't use an equation because we don't know whether this is going to equal or be less than or be greater than. So, let's put it in this way. A y value of minus 5 has some relationship, which we don't know, to an x value of 0 plus 1. When we do that math, we get minus 5 has some relationship to positive 1, and we know that minus 5 is less than positive 1. So what this graph is showing us is two solution sets, or two parts of one solution set. The equation y equals x plus 1 has a solution set of all the points that fall in that line. But we've also colored in all the points below that line, all the points where the y value is less than the y value at that, at that line. So what we've really drawn is an, is an inequality where y equals the points in that line or is less than the points on that line. And we can write that inequality this way. y is less than or equal to x plus 1. Now, y is less than or equal to x plus 1 includes the boundary line y equals x plus 1. And all the points where y is less than that boundary line. But what if we didn't want to include that boundary line? What if we wanted to say that y was less than x plus 1? It didn't equal x plus 1. It, it, this line was not part of the solution set, just the points below the line. Well, we draw that this way. We'd replace the solid line with a dotted line, which would indicate that that was not really part of the solution set. And we'd write it this way. y is less than x plus 1. Let's graph y is greater than 2x plus 3. And to do that, the first thing I want to do is graph my boundary line, which would be y equals 2x plus 3. And then I'll just color in either above the line or below the line 
depending on whether y values greater than the line should be included or y values less than the line. Well, y equals 2x plus 3. I can graph that pretty easily because I know that my y-intercept is 3. And I know that my slope is 2, a rise of 2 and a run of 1. And then I can draw a line between those two points. And I've graphed y equals 2x plus 3. But what I want to do is graph y is greater than 2x plus 3. So would that include the points above the line or the points below the line? Well, one way to test that is to just pick a, a, a point above or below the line and see if it works. Here's a point, 0, 15. If I substitute 15 for y and 0 for x, I get 15 is greater than 2 times 0, or 0, plus 3. 15 is greater than 3. So 0, 15 is a part of my solution set, and I need to color in all the area above the line. Now I gotta ask myself, should that line be included? Is that line, is that green line a part of my solution set? And I can see that what I'm trying to graph is not greater than or equal to, but greater than. Y is greater than 2x plus 3. So I don't want to include the boundary line. I'm going to take the boundary line out and I'm going to replace it with a dotted line. Now you try this one. Hit the pause button, do the problem, and then hit the forward key to move on to the answer. We're asked to graph y is greater than or equal to 2 minus 2x. And the first thing we want to do is to graph the boundary line. The boundary line is y equals 2 minus 2x. And I can see that my y-intercept is positive 2 and my slope is negative 2. So when I graph that, that equation, my boundary line would look just like that. Now, all i got to do is figure out whether I want to color in the area above the line or color in the area below the line. And what it's telling me is I want y values that are greater than or equal to. I want y values that are greater than the values on that line. So I want to color in the area above the line. Now I can double check to make sure I've got that correct by picking any point and substituting the values of that point into y is uh, greater than or equal to 2 minus 2x. I picked a point 5, 5, and when I substitute an x value of 5 and a y value of 5, I get 5 is greater than or equal to 2 minus 2 times 5, or 5 is greater than or equal to minus 8. And it is. So, I've proven that all the points above that boundary line are part of my solution set and y is greater than or equal to 2 minus 2x is graphed exactly like I've shown here. Alright, try to write the inequality that this graph represents. Hit your pause button, try the problem, and then hit your forward key to move on to my solution. Well, I think the first thing we want to do is to find the boundary line. And to do that, I need to know the y-intercept and the slope. I can see that the y-intercept of this boundary line is positive 5. The line crosses the y-axis at positive 5. I can also see that the slope is negative 1 half. I've got a rise of 1 and a run of negative 2 to get from one point on the line to the next point on the line. So my boundary lines equation is y equals minus 1 half x plus 5. Now I've colored in all the points below that line. I've covered it, colored in all the points where y is less than the y value on that line. 
But I also included that line because it's a solid line. So, this graph represents the inequality y is less than or equal to minus one-half x plus five. That's our lesson on graphing linear inequalities with two variables. Now it's time to test your skills. Go to www.mastermath.info and there you're going to find some worksheets and quizzes to help you make sure you understand this concept. I hope you had a good time today. I hope you learned a great deal, and I hope we see you again real soon.